Hi everyone, Bob Thomason here. This month, this is an update on C60 that I do typically every month, sometimes more than once a month. But this video, I'm going to talk more towards new users, people that are either looking at C60 or brand new to it. First of all, though, I need to put this disclaimer in there. This video is my personal experience and should not be taken as uh, medical advice. I am not a medical professional and offer this for entertainment purposes only. So do your own research before you make any purchases. First of all, when you're new to C60, uh, many of you might experience some detox, depending on how much C60 you're taking. A maintenance dose, in my estimation, and from what I've heard from others and what I've experienced, seems to be 10 milliliters a day, um, to, which is about two teaspoons. And I divide the two teaspoons up into a morning and evening dosage. It's better that you take, say, five milliliters at a time than take that twice during the day. But with new users, uh, people that are new to C60, depending on your health situation, you may detox, go through detox when you for, first start out C60. So my suggestion is start out slowly. Start with one teaspoon uh, a day and then Try that for several days and see how you feel. If you're going to start detoxing, you're going to notice it pretty quick. So it's best to start out slow and build up than it is to just go gung-ho uh, with the C60. Because the detox is not going to hurt you, but it's very uncomfortable and you really don't want that. But what you, would, what you should be aiming for is to build up a maintenance dosage uh, of the 10 milliliters a day taken in five milliliter doses. Now, you might start out taking five milliliters, one teaspoon, uh, do that for a week, and then if, ever, if that works okay, then try taking two teaspoons a day or 10 milliliters a day uh, the, the following week and see how you feel with that. If you feel okay, then, you know, keep going at that. If you have some issues, I've seen some people uh, that have had issues. Uh, one case I remember is macular degeneration. And I've known of a couple of people that have had issue, issues with macular de degeneration and they'll take more than the, two the 10 milliliters a day. Some of them up to a bottle a week, which the, the four ounce bottle is 120 milliliters, so that's a, that's a lot of C60. But you have to build to that or you're gonna detox. If you're in a hurry, and we're willing to go through the detox and everything. Detox doesn't last but two, maybe three days, typically. So if you're in a hurry to get it done, you know, have at it. I would suggest along that line that you join the Facebook group. It's a C60 support group. And that is managed by one of the C60 suppliers, Ken Schwartz. But that... Um, Facebook group has been real helpful for a lot of people, myself included, uh, disseminating information because there's a lot of unknown information here and we're going by uh, experiential information more than, you know, well, this is what the lab uh, study says do. We don't go in that direction. But I'll, I've got that, that link listed below this video as well. 
Now, I'm, I'm getting off track a little bit here, but another point I wanted to make is, is understand that C60 is not cheap. The C60 powder that they put and mix in the oil is the expensive part of this, and it's it's cost costly to make this stuff, so it can be expensive. So understand also that the cost varies between suppliers. So I've listed some suppliers in the description box below, and you can review what each one of these suppliers has and see what works best for you. Uh, most suppliers will offer C60 in a variety of oils. Some offer it only in olive oil. Um, and the olive oil was the original way that C60 was tested in the lab. But I found olive oil to be a little bit strong. I didn't really care for it. So I settled in on the coconut oil. I like the coconut oil. But that's just my personal preference. You, olive oil or any of the other oils, you know, you may find another oil that, that suits you best. But feel free to look around and you can decide which supplier suits you best, you know, satisfies you the best. I would suggest also, if you're new to C60, is try it for two to three months and see how well that works for you. If you notice uh, uh, some health improvements with that, you may want to stick with it. But if you try it for two or three months and you feel like this is just not for me, you know, then you might want to let it go. But I think it's, I think trying it for, you know, two or three months gives it, gives you a good foundation on what C60 will do for you. Now, in using C60, C60 can help with a lot of health issues. I've seen a lot of them talked about, but remember C60 is not a cure-all. C60 is merely a very powerful antioxidant. And oxidation, oxidative stress, uh, causes a lot of issues in our bodies when it gets out of control. It's, uh, as I understand it, C60 is about 172 times more powerful or more effective than vitamin C. And it works at the root cause of most health issues, which is controlling inflammation. Inflammation causes a lot of problems in our body and uh, we don't really look at it that way but if you dig down on many different health issues that we've got inflammation is going to be uh, right in there with a lot of issues at, 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 the, at the root cause of that. So C60 is not in cured and designed to cure anything. It's not a cure-all by any means but it enables your body to do a better job of repairing itself and keeping you going. So it, it's, to me, I, I look at it somewhat like health insurance in that, uh, you know, I need the C60 to help me fend off some of the stuff that I, that I eat wrong, uh, some of the stuff that I ingest. All right, I'm gonna list below this video here, uh, as I normally do, uh, information on the support group that I talked about earlier, information on the, the suppliers that I'm familiar with, including one supplier for animals, and hopefully this will help you in your uh, quest to learn more about C60 and see if C60 is something that you want to take on. Uh, it's been good for me and I will continue it from now on. It's not one of those things that you take like medicine. You take it till you get over the illness and then you quit taking it. 
because we have oxidative stress all the time, C60 is something that you continue on. So I hope this video is helpful to you. And I'm gonna, I've also got a link in there for any of you that would like to donate to my channel, uh, donate to me, I would appreciate that. It is in the form of cryptocurrency and there's a Coinbase uh, link in there so that you can do something and and if you decide to to make a donation it would really be helpful and I would appreciate it but don't feel like you're obligated to do so but you can donate you know a small amount whatever you want to do but with that I really would appreciate you subscribing if you like this and I'll keep you updated with more information on C60 with that see you later <laughs>